What's going on, warriors? It is the Keymaster84 coming at you guys today with another video. Uh, today we're going to be talking about what everybody seems to be talking about right now, and that is the emotes, the 7,000 steel emotes. Um, a lot of people are very upset by them, um, and we're going to be talking about that today. We're going to be breaking it down. We're going to be talking about you know how much the steel is, as you guys can see on the screen right now. How much the different steel packs are worth. We're going to be talking about how much steel you you, you earn in game. Uh, I'll show you a sampling of the emotes that you can get. And then we're talking about how long it would take you to unlock everything. And it, 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 it compared to other games. Um, where I think that they have a similar system. And just as a intense way of getting stuff so let's just get into it guys as you guys can see on the screen you can buy 5,000 steel 11,000 25,000 65,000 and for a cool 100 150,000 steel so with that being said so as we know the emotes that are in question are 7,000 steel they land right in between here now a lot of people are like, well, why is there not a 7,000 emote package? Because there's never been a 7,000 emote package. There's been a 5, and there's been 11. Because one's $5, and one's $10. What do you want them to charge? $7? For 7,500 points? I mean, I, I, I don't get it. You have extra left over. Woohoo. Spend it on scavenger crates. Spend it on something else. Who cares? You have a little bit left over. You have about 4,000 left over. It is what it is. So that's what we're talking about with that. I mean, it's people are really, really bitter about that. That you can't buy a, even 7,000. It's like, if you're going to buy the steel, just buy the steel. Yeah, you're going to have some left over. Ooh. If you want to think about it. So you're 5,000. You're paying 5 bucks. So it's a dollar a thousand. Okay. So... When you buy ten dollars worth, you actually get an extra thousand for free. So if we take away that thousand, leave it at the ten, you're getting ten thousand. Basically, it's a dollar a thousand. So you want to tell me you want them to have a seven thousand steel package for seven dollars? Why don't you just pony up three extra dollars and get eleven thousand steel? You know, it 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 doesn't make sense to me why people are. Or graving about this. Yeah, I understand the first time people ten dollars is a lot of money. But if you want the emote that bad, just buy it. My god, people. Um so let's go over here. I'm gonna show you guys some of the emotes real quick. We're gonna talk about them. Remember, these are emotes. They don't matter in game at all. They do not matter in the game whatsoever. It is a perfectly cosmetic item like that's a 7,000 steel emote woo woo I could care less there are two of these 7,000 point emotes whoops seven two of the 7,000 point emotes that I would really want um, I literally have already gone through every single one um, and checked them all out there's really nothing in my opinion what I'd be more upset about is the fact that for 7,000, you're not really getting a cool emote. I mean, we've had a sword to roll and the guy who flew out his chest. I mean, I understand that's why it's called a chest out, but I mean, come on, you guys could have done something a little bit cooler than that with that. You know, I mean, it's it doesn't make sense to me why people are so freaking out. It's like, you can't even barely ever use this. Like, it doesn't make sense to me. Let me show you the two that I think I would maybe buy if I really wanted to. Um, I probably still won't buy them just because I don't see the point in buying emotes. Maybe later on, but uh, here we go. That's funny. I would buy that emote. Same reason in Call of Duty. I would buy a skin to be a gingerbread man. Why? Because it's funny. That's the only reason I'm going to buy it. I'm not going to buy it to be like, Oh yes, this 7,000 steel will give me a distinct advantage within the game. 
No. No, it won't. Calm the frick down. And this is the second emote that I would buy right here. Uh, the good old Shigoki. He gets a cool little one. I like it. He gets to be a sumo. I think it's a really cool thing. Um, I mean, but those are the two that I would honestly buy. That's it. Don't quit freaking out about the emotes. If you want them, buy them. If you think they're, if you think they're outrageous, don't buy them. It's cosmetic. It will not help you win a match. Calm down. I don't. I, I just don't get it, guys. I mean, if you guys, if you guys can come up with a logical reason why we should all be caring about the emotes, please, please leave a comment down below. I will gladly talk about it. I will talk. I'm Big Row will talk about it. Who knows? Maybe if your comment's good enough, we will even talk about it in, in TBD Live. Friday. Maybe we'll do that. I don't know. But as of right now, I'm not seeing a good reason to buy the emotes if you're that concerned about the money. If you're that concerned about the money, don't freaking buy them. That's how you'll tell Ubisoft you do not want them. Plain and simple. You know, it's not that difficult to figure out. So, while we're talking about this next point, I'm going to play a little game in the background. I'm going to play on the Orochi just because he's already selected. It makes my life easier. So, let me give you guys a little background. I am a huge Halo fan. I played Halo 1 through 5, but every single game. I greatly enjoyed 5, but they also had a similar system. They had a ton of cosmetic items that you could earn through in-game rec points. We'll just call them steel points for now. Why not? Um, just to make it matters of comparison easier for everybody. So these steel points you got when you finished a match, you got anywhere. I, I played a quick game tonight because I couldn't remember. It's been a while since I've played it. Um, played a quick game real quick before we got, we got on this. Uh, you earn anywhere from six to 800 rec points per match. Now everybody's like, well, Akeem Master, that's so much more than For Honor. Yes, it is. But, to even unlock a crate, what would be considered a crate, in that, in Halo 5, to unlock the gold crate, which is the highest you can unlock, is 10,000 rec points. So even if you're getting 800 points of match, every single match, which isn't going to happen when you're at the level that I'm at, you're only going you're gonna have to play 12 and a half games to get to that point and you can only play about 10 games an hour give or take obviously depending on how fast the game goes that can drastically change whether or not what happens but yeah roughly it is about 10 games an hour so it's gonna take you a little over an hour to play everything and, or to play the games and and get everything going here Oh, see, I knew that. Oh, man, they're, oh, jeez, they're everywhere, man. Let's see if we can. We, we had to take a break there for half a minute. <laughs> that got cray cray real fast. Um, but yeah, guys, so yeah, it takes a while to get the free loot even in Halo 5. You know, and, and people are like, oh, that's Halo 5. That's not for honor. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, well, yeah, it's not, but it's still a similar. It's 
Still a similar playstyle. Got her. Anyways, it's still a, still a similar playstyle of how you obtain them. So that's why I'm using um, Halo as as a uh, a marker, I guess would be the way to put it. Um, in my opinion, it's probably the best marker just because it's one. It's the game I most recently played that has a similar system to how For Honor does. Um, so maybe that's why it seems like it. In my opinion, why um, it is a good game to to show you guys about what's happening here. Um, let's see. Oh my god, so much chaos happening here. Wow, it worked. Anyways, uh, that was totally unnecessary, but it was fun. Um, but yeah guys, so, to just give an example, because, you know, yeah, there are a lot of things to unlock in this game, um, but just to give an example of how much stuff there is to unlock in Halo 5, you have 238 different helmets you can get. You have 229 different pieces of armor you can obtain. 63 visors. 103 emblems. 27 stances. 30 assassinations. 131 weapons. Oh, jeez. See, I was, I was trying to read my notes, guys, and... How? You're not supposed to be this strong. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Just going up hard. Hard in the paint right now. Get out of here. Get him. Let's get him. Let's get him. I'm going after him. Escaped me. Anyway, so more of the story is, guys. I mean, zero. So 131 weapon skins. Uh, let's see what else we got. Oh, and then and then if you want to play one of the game modes, effectively, uh, you have to unlock all the different all the different weapons. Uh, you have to unlock your ARs. You have to unlock your basically all your base weapons. Um, you know, like your uh, let's see here. ARs, you got 20 of those, you got 35 BRs, you got 28 DMRs, you have one uh, anniversary weapon, uh, which is the Halo 2 Battle Rifle, uh, you have, let's see here, what else? We also have four Magnums, 14 SMGs, and 14 armor mods. So just to give you guys an idea, that would be 958 collectible items. 900 and 58 collectible items and we are complaining about seven emotes think about that for a minute we are complaining or not seven emotes 12 emotes at 7,000 steel apiece and that is it um, so just to put into perspective for you guys about what we are actually complaining about here and it's nothing Yeah, it's Oh no. Okay, good. Oh jeez. Oh god. Oh god. Go hard in the paint. Go hard in the paint. Yeah, so just give me a guess. 950 collectible items. That's a lot. And we are complaining about seven emotes. Granted, I mean, if you want to unlock all the emotes for God knows what reason, I mean, not that you're going to be able to use every single emote, um, you know, that's going to increase your time. If you want to get all the executions, even though when it really comes down to it in a game like this, all you're ever really going to use is one of those. You're not going to use all of them. And I think that's something that a lot of people are forgetting about. Or choosing to have maybe selective memory on. Oh my god, you ran away in the perfect time. 
Dang it. I feel to my death. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> um, that's what you do when you're in you your game. Fun. Um, you know, and so it's just, when you're playing a game like this, you're not going to want every single emote. You're not going to want every single thing when it comes to stuff like that. You're just not going to want it. You know, I've played games like that before. You, you, you reach a point where you're like, okay, get all the stuff I want. And then you're done. That's it. Oh, she's cool. She's got a bow and arrow. She's not realizing it. I also have my bow and arrow already. Yeah, don't be dumb. Sudden death. I'll just keep her off this. I don't know why she's. I don't know why she's thinking like I'm actually gonna. Oh, she almost got me. Almost got me. Here, that guy's handling business. Move over here. Heal up real quick. Oh man. <sighs> that was a good time for that smoke bomb. I can't even lie about that. That was awesome. Good timing. Can't be mad, can't be mad about it. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's one of the things I think a lot of people need to think about is that how many other emotes are you really going to feel? I mean, if you're talking about, oh, well, I'll just put the 5,000 for you. Then why are we even having this conversation? If a 5,000 point email is good enough for you, why are we even having this conversation? I don't know why. I'm just... Dang. These guys be hating. They be hating hard. You guys see? I was just standing in my own business. Just standing in my own business. And he had to get all cray cray on me. And start attacking me with ninja stars. What the heck, bro? That's not cool. Yeah, I'm trying to heal up. I'll be there in a second. Jesus. Alright. I'm not. <laughs> Alright, let's get over here and help our, our homies out. Oh no. Stay alive, friend. Stay alive. So anyways guys, so just to break this down for y'all, um, so in Halo, the 950 collectible items, when you get a gold pack that's to 10,000 points, you only are guaranteed two items. And that's it. Yeah, and these are all cosmetic, so we're still comparing apples to apples here. I don't want people to start freaking out and being like, oh, they're totally different, blah, blah, blah. They're not. They're cosmetic. They don't affect the game whatsoever. Purely cosmetic. Now, what you guys will see is this now. So, there's 958 total. 479 packs are required because you get two items each. Half of 958. It's very simple. You take that 479. It takes 10,000 wrecks to open up each pack. So, you go 479 packs. Times three dollars. You know how many dollars you have to spend in order to get there? Well, it's like a day. Your probably key master fix that for you. So, in order to get this all, everything done, you would need, oh. Let's see here, you would need, that doesn't make sense at all, key master. How did you come up with these crazy numbers? Let me just make sure my calculations are right before I start spewing out false alternative information. Oh yeah, okay, well, that's right. So yeah, it would take four or one thousand four hundred and thirty-seven dollars to unlock everything with money. 
and people are complaining about the $700 that it would take in Fryer. It's double. Now, granted, I realize they have a ton of stuff, but still, it's double. You know, straight doubling it. That's how much somebody, you know, that's a lot of dollars. To have $1,400 for a $60 game to unlock everything. Um, just to give you guys an idea of how long that would take you to get you there, it would roughly take you about 5,987 matches. Just because, you know, some matches you might get 600, some matches you might get 800, some matches you might get 1,000, 1,200. So that all changes. So we're just basing all this off of 800 wrecks per match. So if you were playing 8 hours a day, that would take you 74 days, 8 hours a day, to unlock everything off of wreck points. Only buying gold packs. Really not that bad, you guys. It's really not. And for honor. I mean, I think we got it fairly easy. There's not a lot of cosmetic stuff to buy. Granted, the cosmetic money stuff to buy is kind of expensive. Save up for it. Just save up for it. It's no big deal. You don't need it. You do not need it. So, guys, with that being said, I just want to let you guys know that everybody freaking out about this, calm down. There are cosmetic items. It is not a big deal. You don't need to panic. It'll be fine. You do not need a $7,000 emote of your lawbringer riding his halberd. You don't need it. Do you want it? Yes. But you do not need it. So please quit complaining about the price. If you can afford it, get it. If you can't, don't. Plain and simple. But that being said, guys, though, this is the Keymaster 84. Remember, always support your local Vikings. Make sure you guys are leaving those likes, comments, and subscribes on your way out. And as always, we'll see you out in the battlefield.